Welcome back to TYT Sports. It's a great day. I've got my barnet trimmed and the Champions League draw has came. So uh, we are delighted here at TYT Sports, or I am delighted. Um, so we're going to give you a brief overview of the groups and let you know basically who it was drawn with who. So Group A, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Olympiacos, Malmo. Group B, Real Madrid, Basel, Liverpool and Ludo, Ludogorets. Um, group C, Benfica, Zenit, St. Petersburg, Bayern, Leverkusen and Monaco. Group D, Arsenal, Dortmund, Galatasaray and Anderlecht. Tough group for Arsenal, I think, there. Uh, group E, Bayern Munich, Manchester City, CSK Moscow, Roma. Uh, group F, Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain, Ajax and Apoel. Group G, Chelsea, Schalke, Sporting Lisbon, Maribor, should have been Celtic. Uh, group H, Porto, Shakhtar, Athletic Bilbao, and Bate Borisov. We are going to give you the similar rundown that we did to the World Cup. Not at this moment in time, so bear with us. But we're going to give you, a, I'll give you a brief overview of what I think of this group so far in terms of who is drawn with who. But we will be bringing you step-by-step -step segment, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So, okay, so Group A, Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Olympiacos, and Malmo. I think... Uh, both Atletico Madrid and Juventus are clear favourites for that. Don't get me wrong, Olympiacos are a veteran in this competition and will put up a hard task. I'm going to skip a couple of groups, but I'm going to first touch on Liverpool. Brendan Rodgers, if he was to be given this group beforehand, um, I think he would bite someone's hand off for it because uh, in terms of the other, their English counterparts, they have got a good group, I think. But Real Madrid, of course, would be favourites to come out on top. Um, but considering their start to the season, I haven't seen... Uh, too much to be afraid of at Anfield. I think they will lose points in the Bernabeu, as most teams will. But um, Real Madrid uh, are, are beatable, I think. I mean, it's still, they still look world-class going forward. I still think they're susceptible to, susceptible to concede uh, some goals. And I think Liverpool will be most likely to come out second, but they shouldn't fear anything from this group. Uh, skipping through to the next team that uh, have came into a, a tough group, which is Man City. They always seem to be drawn in the toughest groups, but at the same time, they are England's best team, according to the championship, according to the, the league table last year um, and a couple of years ago. So they are, there's no excuse for Man City to come into the Champions League and continue to be uh, flattering to deceive because they have so much money, they have so much players and they have so much depth that they, there's no excuse for how poor they've been doing in Champions League. Fair enough, they're inexperienced, yeah, but they, if they can win the Premier League title in one of the toughest competitions in the world, they should be doing better. Um, you don't qualify for the Champions League to be playing Maribor, like the team that Celtic lost to. You qualify for the Champions League to come up against the world's elite, to come up against your Bayern Munichs and Roma, who are, who are coming forth and doing well um, in Italy, who will be interesting to see how they do. So, for you Man City fans out there, I'm sorry if I annoy you, but um, it, it's just it's a tiresome argument that you're inexperienced and that you've got to give you time and you get tough draws because you're always going to get tough draws. If you get through the first group, you're going to come up against the world's best teams. That's why it's called the UEFA Champions League to see who's the best in Europe. Uh, so there's my point on that. Uh, Barcelona with PSG, Ajax and Apple. That's going to be amazing to see uh, Barcelona versus PSG. Uh, just the, the names are going to be flying everywhere. You've got uh, Cavani, Ibrahimovic, Messi, Neymar, Suarez. Uh, it's just a Matuidi. It's just a, it's going to be so interesting to see. Um, I think PSG, after their confident run last year, will be looking to further themselves, get to maybe the semis or the final. Um, with that amount of money and the depth they have in their team, I wouldn't put it past them. Chelsea, the only team that Celtic have not played yet uh, in the Champions League or Europe, in England, like out, out of the major teams, that, not including Man City because they've just come in, but they, Celtic, remember, beat Manchester United, beat Liverpool in the FA Cup, lost to Arsenal in the qualifying stages a few years ago. They've never played Chelsea and I've been dying for a Celtic fan to play against Chelsea to try and get that rematch against Jose Mourinho when he put us out of the UEFA Cup final or sorry, beat us in the UEFA Cup final with Porto. I've uh, been dying to see it but we didn't make it because we're simply not good enough. So Maribor, good luck to them, the Slovenian team. Um, and then in the final group, Porto, Shakhtar, Athletic, Barbao and Bati Borisov. Probably um, no disregard to them, probably one of the easier groups uh, in it, I would fancy. Balbal uh, and Porto go through. Balbal, of course, with that major upset in putting Napoli out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they go through. And that's it. Now we can, all we can do is dive in deep into who's going to beat who, what games is the one to watch, and get our fantasy football league, uh, fantasy Champions League teams going. Um, I know it's going to be one, uh, a Champions League to remember. I sincerely can't wait. Um, and make sure to check out uh, our website as we bring you further news on the Champions League. Thank you for tuning in.